I've been asked a lot since I got my dentures, do you lose taste? Do you lose any taste when you have dentures in? Because this top plate sits on your mouth. And do you lose taste? So the last two days, I've been in bed with my fibromyalgia. It's been awful. I'm okay now, but I've slept a lot. But I've also went down the rabbit hole on YouTube researching this. I've done a lot of research because there's taste and then there's flavor. What's the difference? Because the two aren't the same. So I'm gonna show you a video here that will explain this and it shows the, the, the real human tongue. So if that grosses you out, I'm sorry, but this has a lot of good information in it. 2,000 to 10,000 taste buds lining the tongue and parts of the mouth are receptors that predominantly only send one of five basic messages to the brain. Salty, sour, bitter, sweet, and your mummy. Which I'm sorry about the tongue, but keep watching because it's interesting. Which is somewhat savory, and this is it. Now, this is the human tongue. Just to point out, all taste sensations can come from all regions of the tongue. You may have seen when you were young or at school that... I hope that didn't gross anybody out. Maybe I should blur that. Oh, sorry. Okay, it gets better from here. There was a, a tongue map where we had sweet in the front and sour on the sides. Well, that's completely incorrect. Do you guys remember the tongue map? I'll put one up from school or from your research or whatever. It tells what part of the tongue tastes. Well, they have found that that is incorrect now. I've done a lot of research. It's incorrect. Some areas can be more sensitive to others, but that old model was debunked years ago. Now, the point of this video is that the taste buds don't do very much. Knowing something is sweet doesn't give you flavor. Many fruits are sweet, but it's difficult to tell them apart from the taste buds signal alone. So flavor doesn't come from the taste buds. So your flavor doesn't come from your taste buds. So keep watching. Five primary taste receptors are far outweighed by over 300 different smell receptors in our noses. And these can collectively distinguish somewhere between 30,000 to a trillion different smells. There's a wide variety in the literature. Now, I started researching this because I'm thinking, when you get a cold, you can't taste food. I had the, the thing that's going around that everybody's getting the chop for now, the vaccine. I had that last year and I lost all my taste. I couldn't taste anything. And it didn't have anything to do with my tongue. It had to do with my nose. When you lose your taste with that, it this all swells up and it, and it lands up in here. That's why they do that nose swab. Now, it's hard to give a precise number, but probably around 80% of the flavors in our foods come directly from our noses. We're not tasting food, we're smelling it. This, coupled with additional stimuli such as the appearance, sound, like a crunch, touch, spiciness, temperature, texture, and the feel of food in our lips, even further diminishes the importance of the taste buds for enjoyment of a meal. So, so if I've seen people do this experiment, I mean, I've watched a lot of videos, they plug their nose, they hold their nose, and then they eat a Skittle, and they don't know what flavor it is until they unplug their nose. The taste buds do have a role. They're sweet, salty, sour, umami, and bitter don't really give flavor, but they are predominantly for survival. For example, bitter and sour flavors deter us from eating toxic substances like rotten and rotting meat or anything spoiled or acidic. On the other hand, we're enticed to eat sweet foods as long as they're not too salty, as these are usually quite nutritious in nature. I ate a donut last night. <laughs> was, was that healthy? New research suggests that perhaps we have senses for fat, metallic, and carbonation taste, but either way, that's it. The t now, before I got all my teeth pulled, I had a metallic taste in my mouth. For years, I had a metallic taste in my mouth. The dentist even went in and removed all of my silver fillings and replaced them with the new white ones, whatever they are, that don't have metal in them. And it still didn't take the metallic taste out of my mouth. I don't have that now. Now that all my teeth are pulled out. Taste buds don't really add to the flavor or enjoyment that comes with eating. 
In fact, it's been suggested that if we all lost our sense of smell, the joy of food, as in regularly dialing out to experience culinary delights, might largely disappear from society. So, the taste buds, though, do have their roles, and they're even present elsewhere in the body. Throughout the airways, the bladder, brain, testes, and the digestive tract, taste buds serve various purposes. For example, the taste bud for sugar and sweetness is located in the intestinal tract. Now, this can induce the... So it's my intestinal tract problem and I ate a donut last night. ...pancreas to release insulin when it comes in contact with glucose. We don't taste it that far down the system, but the taste bud receptor is there and doing its thing. Even our digestive system doesn't respond solely to taste buds. A meal's sight, sound, smell and touch all help to rise hunger hormone levels, get saliva flowing and give us that rumbling tummy. So next time you have a meal, be sure to enjoy the input from every sense, as your taste buds play only a minor role in the overall experience. So with my dentures, I can taste food. I can... I don't notice a difference and I know that like as you get older your taste buds change and you will lose taste as you get older that that happens too but I can tell you that after I eat a meal and I take my top plate out if there's any food around or the taste or anything you get a burst of flavor you you get a burst of flavor not a burst of taste you get a burst of flavor also your brain reacts with your taste buds and after you have dentures for a while some people their taste buds change and do different things because that's how it's reacting with the brain the brain's telling your taste buds okay these need to work harder now or these need to work harder now so yeah you're gonna lose a little bit of flavor when you're eating but not enough that it's going to matter. It's not going to matter. So anyway, try that experiment. Plug your nose and eat something and see if you can taste it. I don't know. Try it. I just thought this was an interesting video. All right. I will see you in my next video. Bye.